wine. It's simply crushed and fermented grapes. The variations in the stories are what make it so fascinating. Wine grapes grow all over our planet. The same grape grown in one part of the world might taste dramatically different when grown in another part of the world. The climate, the soil, the amount of sun, these all affect the grape. There are vineyards that make wines from just one part of a row in a vineyard and can compare that with a wine made from another part of the same row and you can taste the difference. There are so many varieties of grapes and then different clones and different rootstocks. Vineyard practices like trellising methods, dry farming or irrigating, fertilizing, cover crops, biodynamic practices, head pruning, using sheep and goats and insectiaries, composting, when to prune and how, canopy thinning, dropping fruit, and harvest, when to harvest, at what brick level, and then night or day harvest, and crush, full cluster crush, stem inclusion, or a deep sort for the perfect berries, native or added yeast, and what strains, and how long is the fermentation? And then there's barreling. Is it aged in stainless steel, in concrete, in regular barrels, or in large food drawers? And if in barrels, what type of wood? Neutral oak or new French, American or Hungarian oak, do you filter or do you rack? And if you rack, is it gravity flow or is it pumped? And even after that, the wine is still changing. When you open up the bottle, it could be different than it might have been a month earlier or it will be a month from now. And after you've opened it, it will change right under your nose as it warms and breathes. I love that we talk about wine breathing. It's a reminder that wine is always changing. There are over 200 aromas that can be detected in wine from the grassy smell of a Sauvignon Blanc to the earthy scent of mushrooms in a Pinot Noir. These aromas are released as the wine breathes, changing even as you enjoy a single glass. And perhaps even more important than any of this are the stories of the wineries, the journeys of the winemakers and the people who love these wines, their philosophies and the different ways they bring their reverence to the grape. The variations in wine are beyond comprehension, and the stories behind the wines are as lush and beautiful as the wines themselves. Our goal at Crush Grape Chronicles is to explore and chronicle the grape, its many stories, and its journey from dirt to glass.